Since Grandpa died, I've been all alone. Then why would we just like leave the eight-year-old all by herself? What kind of friends are we? Yeah. Gallus not naked there, is he? No, no, he's not. Oh, that was right! Solid Snake Gallif! And then, jeez, he just, like, jumps on a dragon. Who does that? Gallif does. He breaks crystals. He breaks the game. He doesn't give a fuck. Just, he couldn't make it through all that. He burned out. Bye now, Grandpa. You're not alone. You guys are good jumpers, you know? We're here for you. Cheer up. You all came. Of course we did, baby. Of course. Did you think I'd forgotten my friends? Thank you. Thank you all. Don't cry, Krill. You've got to be strong. Gallus laughing at your blubbering. <laughs> You're right. He is laughing. The sparkles return to the crystal. Just like my old man protected it. Do you hear something? Aye. Grandpa? Just the rustling of the wind in the trees? Just the rippling of the water? Just the crackling of the fire? That's the worst part I've done so far. <laughs> Just the earth sighing? Sighing? Sure. It sighs all the time. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I hear something. Aye, I hear it. It's something warm. Let's go! Oh, she gets a dragon, we only get chocobos! I'd rather have the dragon. Krill was always everyone's favorite. And that's the game. That's Final Fantasy V. Wow, that was that was quite an ending. Kind of dragged out. Uh, now I have mixed feelings about this game. I honestly do. Um, when I look at uh, Umatsu, great job as always, man. Uh, when I think about Final Fantasy V, I tend to think of it purely from a North American standpoint. And of course, I think of it as one of the forgotten Final Fantasies, along with two and three. You know, it's one of the ones that's just in between Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy VI. However, that's not really being fair to the game. And as I went through this, I, I grew to like a lot of aspects of this game. Uh, for instance, I love the battle system now. I'm 
uh, I'm not one for job classes, but this game I think did it very, very well, where it actually was worthwhile for you to level up not only a job class, but multiple job classes so that you could bring the abilities forward. Now, of course, you couldn't bring forward every ability that you had because that would be a little overpowered, um, but there was clearly a point to leveling up the jobs and bringing them to other jobs so that you could have multi classers and I do like that and it did not come across in this game like omni classing uh, for instance like in Final Fantasy 3 you could pretty much pick one job class and then level that up and indeed that's kind of what the game wanted you to do and then wait until you get the onion knight job class and then level that one up and that was the ultimate job class there was nothing like that in this game even though you could say mine was that way you had to level up the other ones and i i do like that uh when it comes to the story however i feel like it was good but it was weird i, I can't avoid how weird this story was at the end of the day we fought a tree uh, the wisest thing in the world is a turtle uh, the, I can't let go of that communication grass, the walkie-talkie grass. Uh, we, we traveled between planets. We only really saved the one planet. As, as far as I could tell, X-Death didn't really have... Well, okay, they merged, so... Even though there were multiple planets, it ended up merging. I, sh I shouldn't say that there were multiple at the end. So we saved the merged world. But at the end of the day, it still merged, which was kind of strange. Um, so people have to have known that we had saved the world, and then that always poses a problem uh, with the end of game in RPGs, where it's like, we they know what we did. They have to. Yet they still treat us like we're normal people. They still t treat the princesses like they're just normal princesses. Bart is just doing whatever off by himself. Uh, Krill is incredibly lonely because nobody hangs out with her. That's not how you spell supervisor. Th that's still not how you spell supervisor. It's an O at the end, isn't it? Like visor. Whatever. Um... Th they really should be, like, lavishing us with gifts, you would think. Everybody should want to be our friends. We saved the fucking world. You know, we we did everything we could um, t to save the world. In terms of replayability, I would say it's it's pretty good. Pretty standard for, for early RPGs. I still consider it early, even though it's still... It's pretty much bridging the gap to... Um, Yay, they thanked me! Woo! You're welcome. Um, the replayability I think is pretty standard. I don't necessarily want to play this any more than I want to play any other RPG, like Final Fantasy 3 or 4, um, be because of the things in the game. I, I would say that I like this more than 3, definitely, though. Um, oh, are we, are we going over, yeah, everything that they have learned? It, this could take a while. They learned a lot of abilities. Learn 26 abilities, it looks like. Um, good job, Krell. I'm kind of hesitant to give this an overall score because although there is a lot of things I like about it, do I have to actually hit the button? Okay, it doesn't look like anything I'm doing is changing anything here. I don't understand. Okay, it's moving on now. That, that nothing I did. Um, I always have a hard time separating this from other Final Fantasy games. Of course, it did set up a lot of things that are used in pretty much every Final Fantasy afterwards. Uh, Blue Magic, Tonberries, a, a few of the summons are used. Uh, not Well, the summons are uh, hit and miss on whether or not they actually are in other games but a lot of some a lot of new summons here we have carbuncle um what are some of the other ones that were new was titan new no titan's been around so yeah i know titan's been around but for i know uh carbuncle is new tonberry i think i mentioned even though he was called dingleberry in this version i don't know why but he was um there were a few other things that were brought forward f that started in this game. Um, and 
Therefore, if you missed this, you know, I would definitely recommend that you go back and play it. If you if you missed this game and you're a fan of the Final Fantasy franchise, you like Final Fantasy 4, you like Final Fantasy 6, this will be good. It has a slightly different style. It's definitely the spiritual successor to Final Fantasy 3, much more than it's the, final, the, the spiritual successor of Final Fantasy 4. Um, I don't know if there were like two different teams working on them, probably, considering um, how, how most software companies work, but it definitely has a different feel to it th than a lot of the other games, and to be honest, I don't think a game really follows this kind of formula or this kind of style until Final Fantasy IX, and then even then it's... Final Fantasy IX borrows from pretty much everything that came before it except for 7 and 8, um, but really, I would think that the spiritual successor to this game would probably be Final Fantasy X-2, and that is sad that they avoided this this type of style for for so long, because it is it is fun. The job level system is great. I Like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but the, the plot, I feel, is weird, and even though it was... it was good, and it's like... It's good, but it's weird. That's the best way that I can put it. At the end of the day, I'm fighting a tree, and and that I can't get over that. I can't. As as much as I would like to, as much as they made the guy look like Darth Vader, I can't ignore the fact that you said he's a tree, and he uses that to his advantage a few times. And so you don't let me forget that he's a tree. His final form is a tree. And then, of course, he gets consumed by the void and attaches women all over to himself. It's, it's, I love it. I love the, the final boss, but it's weird. And I, I, I'm sorry if I overemphasize the silliness in this game more than I emphasize the epicness of this game. It is an epic game, but it is also very, very silly. Overall, I'd probably have to give it an eight and a half. I think that that is a good place for it to be. Eight and a half overall. Music was great. The, the character models and stuff, that was that was pretty much... I don't know, it seemed to even be a little bit lower than Final Fantasy IV was at the time. But either way, that is going to do it for Final Fantasy V. I've been Balo Scuba. And I will be back with some bonus episodes when we come back. Wait, have we seen this? I think we have. Yeah, this is this is the opening. <laughs> I will be back with more bonus videos. <laughs> but that is going to do it for these parts. Hope you guys have enjoyed them. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.